welcome back. So here I am putting the final touches on the new pocket door. That's right. Why have one pocket door when you can have two? I also moved the sensor so that when you walk past it, the door opens. Before, one had to try to guide themselves in front of the sensor and you could get right up to the door and it still wouldn't open. So I've gone ahead and taken the ceiling panels down, painted the ceiling, and painted the entrance area. Now, I need to make the main feature, which is the fake door. <laughs> Bet you've never used a bucket that way before. It actually worked out pretty well. I didn't have anything else to use as weights, okay? Here I use paper to help with the spacing of the pockets. The pockets are set 4 inches from the edge, then the pocket itself is 16 inches, then 4 inches more for another space, then a 4 inch pocket, and then repeat.
When I was cutting these holes with the jigsaw, I made sure to go close to the line and not over it because it's easier to just use this sanding tool to sand up to the line versus having to use putty and, you know, correct your mistakes that way. Good thing about this tool too and the softness of MDF is it sands it just like butter. Wait, does one sand butter? Where was I going with that? Huh. I place the board on the back side and that completes the pockets. I also reinforce the structure because I like to come down and play Star- I mean, uh, kids like to come down here and play uh, Star Wars. Yeah, that, that's totally what happens. So here it is in place and next up I need to make the actual door and the inset part, which I think I'll use foam for the inset. So if uh, you know, if you like hanging out with me, because I like hanging out with you, click that subscribe button and uh, let's hang out some more. Is that creepy? Yeah, that's, that's probably creepy.